Hi everybody, Mike Pareka from Skipper Buds in Winthrop Harbor, Illinois. But today I am in beautiful Holland, Michigan on this beautiful morning on Lake Makatawa at the Tierra Corporate Yachting Center taking a look at the brand new Tierra 43 LE. Let's go take a look inside. Taking a look at the specs of the brand new 43 LE. You can see the boat is 43 and a half LOA. 13 foot beam, dry weight of 24,000 pounds. Water line to the top of the Garmin radar is 11 feet, two inches. Um, draft is three foot five, dead rise, an aggressive dead rise at 21 degrees. Water holding, 60 gallons, holding tank, 40 gallons, and fuel capacity of 540. You can see it is powered by twin V12, 600 mercury outboards. So the 43 LE, is based on the 43 LS hull and this is a new adaptation of this boat brand new for the 25 model year step aboard here got a great grab handle right here nice step down here two aft facing seats mechanical room down below Rotating aft seat, beautiful teak table, folds in to allow people to get full access to the seat. On the starboard side, we have this beautiful boarding door. With this beautiful dark blue, this is a Viper Blue a fairly new blue to Tierra. Tierra's got a lot of different blue choices. This is a, a newer one. Back here we have the Glen Denning Cable Master both in and out. I'll show you that. So in here we have the Cable Master. We've got your water hookups, your water pressure hookup, your Glen Denning uh, in and out switch right there. Back here Got your Kenyan electric grill, line drying access, storage access below, GFI right here. Underneath the starboard side aft facing seat, there is an option for a coiled over cooler or freezer refrigerator. So we have a cover stored in here, but inside this compartment, this is actually a coiled um, refrigerator freezer unit so you can actually control the temperature inside to make either a fridge or a freezer nice armrest there TV hardtop lights TV is located right above my head here storage underneath the opposing side on the port side. So the terrace, uh, so right now the boat is off, but when these are illuminated green, to have these illuminated green to activate the terrace, the ignitions need to be off, uh, the switch needs to be on at the helm, and uh, the boat needs to be um, in neutral. These will light up and we can access the terrace down. So you can see the full port side here back quarter of the boat here will fold down just like you've seen on many boats in the past giving us additional teak beach to the side so right here new for the 43 LA because these v12 600 mercuries don't have a steering mechanism here because the engines are static they don't turn the lowers turn so we don't need that big uh, cumbersome steering mechanism here, which allows Tier to build the boat without a splash well. So we can have this nice flat level so we don't have a tripping service. Uh, we don't have any caulk lines or anything like that. And we also have these new connections here. Gives it a nice clean look. The stainless steel plate here, that is for a uh, extension ladder. So there is a, a safety ladder that's located on the port side, but on the starboard side, 
You can have an extension ladder to make it a little easier to get on and off the boat. Beautiful interior of this boat. So you can see the solid teak floor, all the critical match teak on the walls. Got this U-wrap seating for a dinette. You can see right now it is in the forward facing position. There is a button located right here. By hitting this button, you heard that mechanism that allows us to rock this seat forward, turning it from a forward facing seat to a full dinette. You just heard it lock behind me. Uh, here we've got a convection oven, cooktop, large sink, large trash can, here is that thermostat unit that works for that back seat that is located right here to be a refrigerator or freezer. This is where you control that unit. We have additional storage here. Tierra's taken a lot of time and effort to maximize the storage in this boat. Right here, you can see this is the television. This pops up using this button right here. Don't want to waste any more time showing you that, but here we've got the guillotine window, which drops down. The button's just aft of the television button. So that will drop down, giving you open space, giving you better connection with the water. The new doors have a break on them. So the way to think of it is at the base here, there is a break. So when this is in the position here, the parallel position, it's locked, the brake's engaged. By pushing down, it frees the brake is what you're doing. But when you let go, the door doesn't move. So it keeps it from sliding when underway. It takes a little getting used to, but very, very uh, great improvement over doors in the past. This does have the backup camera. It also has the make fast sunshade, which will come out over the back and it will cover this entire back seat. We have the twin Garmin screens. You can see that this boat is equipped with the Sea Keeper. It is also equipped with the new Merck bow thruster system, the Merck JPO system tied into those twin V12 600s, the new Mercury control box. Once again, push buttons. I love having push buttons. Not everything is digital switching here. So we have a push button for everything, which I really, really like. Ship to shore radio, your Dometic air conditioning. Boat, right there. Cut behind me out of I got 450 copper out there, buddy. We got some fishermen saying where the fish are today in Holland, Michigan. Once again, we are in Holland, Michigan. This is beautiful Lake Makatawa. Um, if you ever get an opportunity on the Great Lakes and you get a chance to go into Lake Makatawa, it is one of the prettiest lakes you'll ever get an opportunity to see. And while we're here, I'll just kind of show you. This is the Tierra Corporate Yachting Center. So this is where Tierra hosts events. Um, today we're at the Tierra VIP event, which we have everything in the water. I'm here early to try to get on this 43. It's been so busy, but we have everything in the water and we're doing demos. So if you get an opportunity to go one of these Tierra VIP events, they do three events a year. Um, and they are done first class folks. So they generally do two in Florida and one here in Holland where they'll have everything in the water. Uh, they're by, uh, appointment and invite. But if you have interest in experiencing Tierra, or just overall again, trying to get a feel for the brand, one of these three events is a great opportunity to do it. If we walk downstairs, we have a queen size berth with storage underneath. So this would be the VIP, you see the lit storage underneath. Here you can see the lower table legs for the table in the salon that convert it to a berth, large television. Your main distribution panel is located in here. 
So you can see, we got your battery on off solenoids, and then we've got all of your functions here. AC system is up top, AC system is down below. Own and generator is here. You have your Dometic um, wastewater and fresh water. You have a high water bilge. Your engine ignitions are located here as well. To the starboard side, very nice head, vacuum flush, full stand-up shower with beautiful teak seat. So it is a dry head, large window with ventilation. Here's a nice look aft. So I'm just standing at the entrance of the master just looking aft. We have some nice storage hooks here in the corner. No space is wasted. Here is the VIP, which also could be very much a master. So we have headroom going aft underneath that seat. That's what this is here. So my head here is the uh, port helm. And then this here is the seat above us, giving us that head headroom. Gives you a nice area to sit down can see these are the filler cushions for upstairs. Nice full-size berth here. Large television. Once again, focused on storage. A lot of thought went into the layout and overall design of this boat. Once again, three steps up. It is truly a beautiful example of a Tierra. It is the latest and greatest, the newest boat to hit the market and an absolute home run for the Great Lakes market. So if you have any interest in the new Tierra 43 LE, please give us a call at Skipper Buds in Winthrop Harbor.